quiet out here. Peaceful. Gives you time to reflect. I can imagine that uh, solo in something like, well, any of the through hikes. Just amazing. About half an hour before sunset. Just chilling at camp. Hope my stuff's warm enough tonight. <laughs> we'll see. Everybody ought to. I was out here this last weekend with Sarah and Esteban, my daughter and son in law. And it's an uh, amazing way to spend time. No distractions. Just what they call hiker TV by way of a fire. Just a good way to connect. No cell service out here either. So that's a plus. Unless you need it. Then it's not. I'm getting smoked out. All right, I'll check in right before bedtime and show you the setup in there. And what I think I'm going to do in terms of pullouts, build some pullouts into the into the inner tent area. Oh, one thing on that gear top tent. I had assumed or thought based off of the stuff I'd seen that the inside material was all mesh. That's not correct. It's got a mesh TP at the very top where your trekking poles go. But the rest is, I don't know, 10D sil nylon, 20D sil nylon, something. Um, so it's not quite see-through. I guess it would be see-through enough if you didn't have the tarp over it, but you wouldn't, wouldn't be stargazing with it is my point. Anyhow, just be aware of that if you're looking to get one. And, you know, I'll let you know how that goes uh, in the morning. cool dad and daughter riding that trail I was on before it's pretty late so they're probably doing a quick loop back to the main parking lot yeah cool stuff man Dad shepherding his little girl along. Kind of makes me lonely out here. Totally on my own other than that group that just came through biking. But this pair of trees is Esteban's trees for when we're hanging. And that pair of trees is where Sissy hangs. And I hang further down in the woods there. I'm guessing it's because we come here all the time together so I'm missing them. And I've got nothing really to to do here, just chilling at camp. Uh, no sort of purpose other than testing the gear. Tomorrow I'll uh, pack up when I pack up and uh, do a circle hike back to here and then get in the van and hit the road. Anyhow, yeah, missing the kids right now. I'd be curious about uh, you guys who've done through hikes, if you get lonely. My guess is you do, but probably the magnitude of the adventure you're on quells that to some extent. Anyhow, leave some comments if you do, or not. Sun's just setting. Quarter after five. I was thinking about before. I've camped alone before, uh, but I've always had a purpose, like fishing, and I was went to Harris Lake, for instance, and just camped on some of the makeshift campsites there. 
but I went there to fish, so all I did was fish, 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 climb in a tent or climb in a hammock, and get up in the morning and do it again. So uh, this one's a little different, and I'm just kind of sitting around. Really curious about how that tent and whatnot's going to do. One thing I did do is I uh, I swapped out my sleeping bag to my Mac Daddy one, and I'm going to see if I can fit that into the pack that I'm hoping to use. It's just a 40 liter. I should have enough room because I think I had plenty of room with the smaller sleeping bag. But that sleeping bag that I'm going to use is like a zero degree bag, so I should be good. Uh, depending on the insulation of the um, tarp. I mean, not tarp, the uh, air mattress thing. Beautiful sunset. That's the battle wagon right there. Big old roof racks on it, 80 inch wide for two canoes. Not sure how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but this gear top's got uh, reflective tie outs and reflective strips on the tent. Pretty cool. Didn't expect that. Not sure how well this is gonna come out. Not particularly hungry. Eight fast food on my way in here for lunch um, but I did make myself some hot chocolate so my, my daughter calls me powders with a Z that's not Z O W D E R S that's powders ending in a Z makes me think about a buddy of mine his name's Mark M A R C with a C, and <laughs> he's seen it spelled C-A-R-K, Mark, whatever. <laughs> um, anyhow, yeah, not particularly hungry, so I just did some powders. Going to uh, chill in front of the fire, let this baby die down, and then hit the hay, and we'll see if we get any light in the uh, tent and show you my setup. Just about to be sunrise, 7.45ish on January the 11th, 2019. Made my way back to the Hiwari Trail. I'm doing a loop on there just to get a feel for my pack and contents, etc. Long night. 7 o'clock till 7 o'clock-ish. Got pretty cold, broke out a couple hand warmers. That tent's pretty small if you're 6'2", if you're 5'10", it's probably, probably pretty decent. But I can see why people on through hikes would do the duplex, because of just the space. Similar weight, I think, as well. Anyhow, that's what I found out. Here's a split between the Uari Trail, and I think it's called the Kiwi Trail, something like that. So for now, because I'm using my cell phone, <clears throat> I'll probably end up getting one of those stick pick uh, things so I can put on one of my poles. But I wanted to talk about that tent while I was thinking about it. I noticed that Yesterday I was thinking about adding a tab for a pullout of the inner tent. Well, I found that there were some already built in on the seams, so I hooked those up on the head end, which made for some more room. And uh, I, I was able to sleep on my back, fully stretched out. But I typically don't sleep on my back, you know, so I then slept on my side, kind of not fully stretched out which is normal and had enough room a little bit of a slope was obviously a pain in the neck because uh one thing that 
I guess with the newer technology than I've been using in terms of equipment, the air mat was sliding on the sill nylon, and so I only had a slight slope, but sure enough, I was in the side of the damn tent. I've uh, come across a cool campsite that I've never seen before. Um, flip the camera in a second and check it, check it out. So this is, again, on the Uwari Trail. I'm trying to make it back to the main entrance and then I'm gonna double back to my van. Um, but this is a big area. Uh, don't know the deal. I don't know how far we are from the main entrance. But anyhow, interesting. The most significant river crossing so far. The rest have been little drainage creeks. So this is the trailhead. Uh, it's the one near Albemarle. I can't remember what the other one's called. Anyhow. Twenty-four, twenty-seven trailhead is where it's called. Top right up there. 